same time, it's a brilliant day. A brilliant day because we're all here together as a sign of resistance and say no to the migrant worker programs as they stand here today in the Western world. The temporary foreign workers program is a model our communities are embarrassed about and most Canadians are quite frankly unaware of. It is a model of use, abuse and dehumanization of workers from around the globe all in favor of an absurd amount of wealth for a very few. This is an apology to Guatemala. Lo siento. Lamento mucho. Guatemala, I'm sorry, Guatemala. I'm sorry. We import you to plant things in our ground to do the jobs no Canadians want to do for minimum wage, while we pay maximum prices to ethically purchase fair trade Guatemalan coffee. Lo siento sorry. that we treat you as temporary, though you've been here every summer for 14 years. But you don't have the same rights as yes. us. And maybe fear of being sent home keeps you from asking questions about the rights you do have. I'm Lo sorry. siento that you were fired from your jobs with Roland Farms with no notice. The only employer your contracts let you work for. And were left without food, without shelter. In December. Guatemala. Lo siento, siento for, for what, what we've done, done for, for what, what we continue to do, for all we've put, put you through. through. Guatemala. Lo siento. Lo siento. Well, we know that the farm workers uh, do the most sacred work of all because they feed the nation, uh, but unfortunately they are discriminated and they're not respected. And uh, I just want to congratulate UFCW for what you're doing right now and that you are reaching out to these workers and giving them the kind of a respect and the protection, the advice, and, uh, and helping them organize themselves. So the message is that uh, you can't really change anything by yourself. The only way you can change it is by working together. And uh, one of the things that you can do then is uh, come associate yourself uh, with UFCW uh, because they're there to help you. And uh, if, if, if you are associated with them, uh, you will have somebody to defend you. And uh, you know, don't be afraid, okay? Don't be afraid. No hay que tener miedo de nada. Se pueden asociar y pueden estar ahí para que la unión les ayude a ustedes para que los pueda defender y los pueda proteger. No van a perder nada, en realidad van a ganar. Sí se puede. Over the last 15 years, it's been the same story. Coming from the Liberals, Conservatives and Tories. McGinty denies workers' rights but doesn't mention that we as a nation signed the Geneva Convention guaranteeing workers the right to unionize on any Ontario farm regardless of what its size. McGinty has supported laws my Gueris has written and chosen to keep our farm unions forbidden. You've made it a hobby of backing the farm lobby. Now we ask thee to put the workers first. Just because they work the land doesn't mean they're dirt. In this great nation, how can leaders believe in repatriation? But that's the law on McGinty's plantation. June 18, 2006, Kevin went to work, left about 4.30 in the morning. It was his responsibility to get the mill running, and he went into Silo 7 at Tongue Creek Feedlot. He was a wonderful man, and we still don't understand why he was taken from us. If my husband had been able to refuse to to um, go into that silo, like he had no right as a, as a farm worker to say that he would not do that because he felt it was unsafe, uh, they could have fired him. So I'm asking all of you to please send a letter to the Premier. Um, they need to enact the recommendations that Judge Barley has made. Uh, there is no excuse to continue letting approximately 18 people, 18 to 20 people on farms die each year. My husband would still be here today had this legislation been in place. single media showing up uh, to tell their story. These are faceless people, invisible people, no one knows 
where they are and what's going on with their lives. And we're here today to show solidarity because we think when you attack one of us, you are attacking every one of us. And we should stand up and speak out. Those men who died falling from that building died solely because they were migrant workers. They had no status to be able to go to their employer and say, hey, this isn't acceptable. And we have to get those bastards in Ottawa to understand that loud and clear. Organized labor is fundamentally united. We are the ones that have resources on the left. We are the ones who have to share and work with our brothers and sisters in the community groups, in the activist groups, to ensure that this never happens again. A woman from Windsor is off to Ottawa tonight to testify at a Supreme Court hearing. Mindy Lang believes farm workers should have the right to unionize. Mindy Lang's farming career starts and ends here, but her mission continues. She remembers the three years she spent at Roland Mushroom Farms. Lang says it wasn't pretty. We work for a very long day, long hour, and we have no right, no what's, whatever saying so with our right. You know, we just do as it's told. If we don't do what it's told, then we get, you know, terminated. Agricultural workers in Ontario lost their right to unionize in 1995. There have been several hearings over the last two years to reverse that decision. The Court of Appeal called the ban unconstitutional. The province is appealing that. Now both sides are off to the Supreme Court of Canada for a final decision. We're going to win. Our, um, all of us is praying to win and we're going to win. It's our time now. The FCW can and now the Agricultural Workers Alliance has been doing the work for agricultural workers and temporary workers now for over 15 years. As we move forward and as we reach out today, we pledge our commitment to continue the work that we do as Canada's largest private sector union. Our job is to ensure that all workers, all workers that come to Canada are treated with respect and dignity. And until that is accomplished, our job is not done.